Hi, Soul Family. Okay, we're going live from the magic tree in Sedona. I'm going to do a reading. And uh, Bay is off lead so she can run around. I have this set up so that I can set this in a place where you guys can have a beautiful background to look at. Well, first of all, I'll let you see your items to choose from. The magic tree. And look what was set in the magic tree. This is often done here in Sedona. Remember I said to Spirit, if I'm meant to stay here, you'll give me a large crystal. This is a crystal from the, the ground here. You have to dig down for them because you'll see them like that, right? But this is the magic tree and this is the magic crystal. This is a sacred spot. So let's put it back into its little secret hiding spot. So there's the crystal. There's the magic tree. I'll, I'll back up so you can actually see it. Isn't that gorgeous? I looked at it and I said, this is Merlin's magic tree. Who's Merlin in your life? Merlin is me. There are, we have again, right behind us is the golden retriever and the cat sitting in front and then their little dog right in front of them. So the trio, the trio, the tree, the crystal. <laughs> I heard the trio, the tree, the crystal and me, but look, I see a dragon. Can you see the, the dragon? It's like a griffin. We'll just choose this rock formation. I see lots of animals in this, that there's an animal on the end right there, but I see a dragon, a winged dragon. So I'm going to start the reading. You can go over out, Bail. I'm going to put this guy in here where it's safe. And you get that to look at, which I think is pretty beautiful. Right? Are we secure enough in here? I don't want my phone hit, hitting the high road. There we go. Whoops. Okay. Can you see me? You don't really have to see me. All right. So, the deck that I'm using, I did a reading for us last night, and it was, um, I had boxes all around me, and it was kind of frenetic energy, and I was pretty tired, so I decided not to share it, because I listened to Spirit's message. Two messages I got, one in that reading, and one in a reading before that, was, clear up the clutter, clear up your space. And I said, well, great, you know, you've got, you know I'm moving, I've got boxes everywhere, I know I've got to clear up the clutter. But I can't function properly if things are cluttered around me. So I had an experience this morning and it really motivated me to just dig down deep, you know? When the going gets tough, this one, this tough one gets really going. Um, and I thought, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear my space. I'm gonna clear the clutter. Anything that doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for me to have all this clutter around me. So I started taking all the boxes and I put them all in the spare bedroom, stacked them, I, you know, I'm not using it. And I cleaned my area around me and I left just a couple of things out. A, a, a rooted plant, which is rooting me here. My galleon ship. So my ships have come in and have landed here in Sedona. It's a galleon clock, actually. The time is now. And my guitar. I left sitting. And, and my mother had, I uh, have two pieces of art of my mother's. And there's a man chasing after a woman. And he's chasing, holding flowers. And she's doing cartwheels. It's the, it's the most playful, fun energy, which is the energy that I feel here. Right? So I left them out. And, and immediately my energy felt fantastic. And I went out looking for a place. My landlady called and gave me some information. And I just thought, I'm just going to do what I need to do. So here we are. We're going to use my deck as clarifiers. I love this tree. This tree is just so beautiful. I've called it the Merlin's Magic Tree before. Somebody else obviously saw what I saw in it. Okay, so for those who chose the magic tree, me, I chose the magic tree. Correct for neutrality. For those who chose the magic tree, Spirit, can you clear my deck? For anybody that would like help with private, a private reading, dream analysis, long distance Reiki healing, or anything else I can help you with, my website is www.theangelswhisper.com and I am Sherry Columbus. My email address is sherrycolumbus at yahoo.com. I would be honored to help you. And I thought about the words that I said the other day in my reading. I said, I'm very good at what I do. I would rather say, I would be very honored to help you. I am very, um, I am very confident that I can help you because of the connections that I have. And while I'm in Sedona, I'm especially on fire. Correct neutrality on all levels. Got to watch the way we word our stuff, right? You know, I'm really good at what I do. I didn't mean it to be like, you know, oh, she's bragging, but I am good at what I do. I'm good at what I do because I'm connected. So I, I am confident that I can help you. 
Correct for neutrality at all levels. So correct for neutrality spirit for those who chose the magic tree. I did. <laughs> I, oh, there it is. Pick up after yourself. Hmm, pick up after yourself. Okay, so think about that. I would say there's a lot of things, whoops, a lot of things that that would mean for me. I have a dog, I take my dog walking on this sacred land, right? If my dog poops on this land, I'm gonna pick up after myself. Picking up after yourself is also picking up and taking care of things yourself. What is the number? 34, three, ascended masters working with you. Uh, at most likely ones that you're most familiar with and four angels all around you. You are completely guided, protected and love. You have no reason for fear. So pick after yourself. Basically don't put the blame on anybody else. This is your life. These are your choices. You are where you are. Your thoughts and your thinking and the words that you speak place you where you're at and the, the circumstances around you. Now, you could say, are you blaming me? Blaming me that my landlady's turning my house back into an Airbnb? No, but I can stay positive and I can stay optimistic and I can know that my team is working with me and I cannot go into fear. I'm not gonna put the blame on that. The only person who can affect anything in my life is me. I affect it by staying positive, right? I affect it by staying happy, by keeping my vibration high. And how do I keep my vibration high? By being here. By connecting to this, by getting outside, by loving my land, by loving these crystals from this land. Look at this. I asked Spirit just yesterday, if I'm meant to stay here, if this is what you want for me, I want, to, I want you to give me a big crystal. I didn't expect this one. I said a good sized crystal. I was expecting one like this big, right? I wasn't expecting this. This is beautiful. <laughs> they handed it to me. So pick up after yourself. Three and four together is seven. You're on the right path and it will exceed your expectations as long as you stay on your spiritually illuminated path, right? You've got the power to accomplish anything in your life that you want to accomplish. You have the courage. Yes, you do. You can say to yourself, I've got less than a week. Yeah, you can put all your focus on all the negative stuff or you could say, I'm here now. My energy is here now. I'm putting my roots down here. This is where I am. I believe in my spiritual team. I believe in myself. I know I have the power. Spirit said this morning, it's gonna feel really good taking your power back. Take your power back. Don't give it to somebody else. Don't give it to the circumstances that you're in. Don't give it to your ill health. Give it to the fact that you can have a positive mindset. I'm gonna give you a story and everyone's probably heard it. It's a two men in a hospital bed. They're both in the hospital bed. One man, older man, lying next to the window. Every day he talked about the birds and, and the trees and the beautiful view. And the man sitting next to him in the bed was angry and nasty and, and jealous. And, and, you know, he gets the better bed and he gets to see out the window and blah, 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 blah. And then the next morning he wakes up and the man's, there's no one in the bed. And he says to the nurse, where, where is he? And she says, he died last night. And the first thing he said was, well, can I have his spot? And she said, okay. So she moved him over to the spot where the other gentleman lay. And he says, can you open up the window, please? He wasn't nice. He was mean. And so she opened up the window and all that was there was a brick wall. And he says, what the hell was he talking about? He was blind. He was visualizing what he wanted to see. I'm visualizing the place that I want to be, right? I saw myself decorating my garden. I saw myself unpacking my boxes. Super, super excited that I was here, right? You are on the right path as long as you stay on your spiritually illuminated path, which is staying positive, staying happy, doing whatever it is that you can. There's another crystal at the top of this tree. I can see it. People have been setting crystals in this tree. This, I told you this is a magic tree. So pick up after yourself. Seven says you're on the right path. Take charge, be accountable. Let's get this moving, spirit says. All right, next message. I like that. It goes along with, oh, no, we're going to do the, um, we're going to do my deck. 333, The Naked Truth. I don't know if, uh, hi, Billy. Hi, Dawn. I can't see who all's there. I can't see very much. I don't know who all um, is talking because I'm kind of, it's all a shadow for, all, for me. You guys can see the background, hopefully. Correct for neutrality. And for, if you who are just coming on now, if you didn't see the crystal that I asked Spirit yesterday, if I meant to be here, I'd like a good sized crystal, to, I, you know, a real crystal. <laughs> And this is what they gave me in my magic tree. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the magic tree. 
correct thing. And you want to go back and, and rewind this. I'll, I'll have it up later. You can see this, this tree. This is Merlin's magic tree. It's incredible. All right. First message. Please notice how hard I'm trying. I'm saying that to spirit. Please notice how hard I'm trying. It could be that someone else is saying that to you or, or they want you to understand that they're really trying. So please notice that, right? Maybe something's easy for, easier for one than the other. So please notice how hard I'm trying. I love how kind you are to anyone you meet. What an awesome quality to have, right? I love how kind you are. So maybe say something like that to somebody. You know, a lot of times we think things in our heads, but we don't say it. Say it. If, you, if you're thinking something nice, say it. You need to say it. It's important. All right. For those who chose the crystal, the magic crystal, the crystal of Sedona. Look at this. It's the grandmother. I see the grandmother again. There she is, and there's her Hopi shawl. I love this. It's so beautiful. I also see a turtle. You are where your home is, right? You, wherever you go, your home is. Beautiful. Correct for neutrality, for those who chose the crystal. For those who chose the crystal. For those who chose the crystal. Oh, it's so beautiful right now. I wish I could take you guys off of that. If I do, I'm afraid I might hang up on you. I'll give you a, uh, a scroll around when I'm finished. For those who chose the crystal, for those who chose the crystal, please guide us to the perfect message spirit for the most amount of people. For those who chose the crystal, this is such a cool tree. My cats need a tree like this in their yard. I've said that before. Whoops. Dropping stuff. I know that's going to go over the edge. So if you're getting an idea about something, you feel like something's going to happen, pay attention to it. Right? Your intuition is telling you to look at something because something's about to happen. <sighs> Correct for neutrality. That's a message in itself. Something's about to happen. <laughs> you're standing, right, un enveloped under Merlin's magic tree. This tree in Sedona. The grandmother's working with you. The magic of the crystals. Wow. Ooh, that one? Baby steps. Okay, so no one says you have to jump off a cliff, right? No one says that you have to put all your money in. Baby steps. No one says you have to get it right the first time, the first try. One step at a time also says it takes a lot of little steps to make your dreams come true. The number is five. Now, if I was doing tarot, and I don't do tarot because I don't believe that every Aries is going to have the same message, right? I don't do That's why I use oracle cards. That's why I basically just let let you guys choose let your higher self choose which message that you feel is going to be most important to you right these two were my highlights so far the number is five five in tarot says challenges problems obstacles five means change a significant change is occurring in your life always for the better it would be a good idea to call upon spirit for help with these changes help us spirit help us right so right now there's another message about baby steps baby steps are new beginnings it's fresh it's the first baby steps you're just stepping into your new life i'm on my way with Bea. we're gonna go to the birthing cave it's um it's 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 about it's a good place to go for on in, for the new moon but for me I'm, I'm birthing something i knew that i was putting on wet water weight and i realized finally the other day why i was gaining weight and i said i think i'm about to birth something really big into my life freedom myself i'm being reborn again so i'm gonna go with bea I'll, I'll videotape when i get there the birthing cave it's the womb it's literally the womb and you go in and you go into meditation and you set your intentions and you come out refreshed and renewed so baby steps think about fresh snow on the, the fresh powder you go up you're the first one up the ski lift you want to go down that slope before anybody else got to go you get to cut the run your first yourself right you're the first one there it's new anything baby it's fresh it's new right when I said that the wind started coming right it's fresh you're not quite sure how things are gonna work out I don't know I don't know where I'm gonna be I'm not quite sure where how things are gonna work out right but it's exciting because it's gonna be good I'm not supposed to know what's gonna happen uh, then the magic wouldn't I, I wouldn't know I wouldn't be able to see the magic unfurl in front of me right but spirit says you've got to go ahead and do whatever this is to put your foot in take take that leap whatever you're considering take that first step I always have gone on quests. You guys have been with me. I've recorded all my quests to Northern California, my quest here to Sarah Sedona, quest out to Wisconsin. My quest now is to stay. My quest is to find a, a residence, right? I'm taking the steps. Bay, Bay and I walked her all around the neighborhood, <laughs> knocked on doors. Whatever it is for you, take the steps now. It's fresh, it's new, it's exciting, and it's waiting for you. So for those who chose the crystal, clarification or additional messages from my deck, 333, The Naked Truth, 
right now. I'm looking at the moon between the branches of the trees and the sky is so blue. I don't know if you'll forgive me, but I want to talk. Okay, we have gotten this same message three times in the last three readings. So this is a big message. So if it were me, somebody obviously has hurt me, right? If it were me. I don't know if you'll forgive me, but I want to talk. Yes, I would forgive you. Talk to me. I, I, I have no problem with forgiveness. It's not hard for me to forgive people. It's not hard for me to say sorry either. Sometimes I don't know if I've hurt somebody. So if it's brought to my attention, I feel pretty bad. I, would, I don't want to hurt people's feelings. I'm not like that, right? But if there is somebody that's been struggling, that feels that they want forgiveness, they don't know if I would speak to them. Coming from me, yes, I would. Take that step. That's a baby step, right? But it's a big step. I don't know what would come of it, but you'll never know if you don't try, right? Correct for neutrality on all levels. Spirit, guide me to the most important message for the most amount of people. Please make sure my hands land on the right message. Time frame weeks. <laughs> oh, I was shown that already. Time frame is weeks, whatever it is. It might take weeks to happen. It might happen in a matter of weeks or you've only got weeks left. Whatever it is, something's going to happen or needs to happen in weeks. That's it? Okay. So the next uh, group setting is going to be the, the dog and the cat. They're right behind me. You can see them, can't you? There's the golden retriever and the cat right next to it and their dog next to that cat. So the trio. That's next. I picked them for sure. They've been guiding me. That's, that's me and Bea. If I look at it right now, that's me as the cat and Bea is my guide right behind me. But then, no, I'll take it back. The one behind me is spirit, the golden retriever, the, the loyal, the best friend, right? That's spirit guiding me. I'm the cat right in front and then there's my dog. Now, if it's my spiritual twin, that would be, I, I don't know who it would be. I, I would say it should be taking turns, whatever my partner would be, should be loyal, devoted, friend, right? Protective. And then the cat, independent, curious flexible, adaptable, has more than one life, and then the dog next to them, right? Whatever it is for you, correct? Woo! Two flew out and one, if I could show you this, it is stuck to the tree. The wind is holding it there from scratch. Two flew out. I don't know where the other, or the other one went down here, but I'm telling you it was hysterical. It stuck to the tree and it was being held there by the wind. So this stuck to, to Merlin's magic tree. Something is stuck. It could mean that some, but something is stuck from scratch. Okay, let's start from scratch and there's something that's a nasty knot. Hmm. Okay, so from scratch was stuck to the tree. So start from scratch. Start from the beginning. So that message that we just got. I don't know if you would forgive me, but I want to talk to you. Start from scratch. Fresh beginning. Do you know when you apologize, it makes way for forgiveness, which allows for healing, which allows for a new beginning. So something needs to start from scratch. The number is six. Six in tarot is victory, ultimate victory. Six in angelic numbers is don't be so focused on everything that's going on in this material world. Focus more on the spiritual world and everything you need will be brought to you. I like that. So congratulations. You've got everything you need to make whatever it is happen. You can build it from scratch. You can make it from scratch. But I found a stick she's chewing on. I like that. I'd rather have her chew that than my Tupperware. So everything is now within your reach. That's what Spirit's saying. This is a great message. Thank you very much. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Pull it in. Pull the, you can use your energy. Your energy is everything. Your, your thoughts are everything. Your words are everything. Be very careful of the words that you speak and think and the things that you say about yourself. It's not going to bake itself, whatever it is that you're trying to make. It's not going to bake itself. You got to get involved, right? <laughs> you got to start in order for things to get from, it's stuck here on this tree, on the magic tree, you've got it. You are the magician. You've got every ingredient that you need in order to make what it is that you want happen. Yes, you do. Quit looking for someone else to start the cooking. This stuck to the tree. It's stuck here. You've got the magic, you are the magician. I love that, that's freaking awesome. And then the other one, nasty knot, 47 for, again, Angels all around you. You're completely guided, protected, and loved. There's no reason for fear. And seven, you're on the right path as long as you stay on your spiritually illuminated path. Stop procrastinating. And four and seven, okay, you're going to laugh because I don't do math very well. Seven, eight, nine, wait, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's a divine number. Divine number, eleven. Gateway. There's a gateway that's opening for you. Step right through it. So you, you, something's in a knot. No matter how things look, 
You can slip out of the current situation. Whatever it is, you can slip out of it. Every knot can be undone. There's some kind of entanglement, some kind of ensnarement that you think that you're stuck and you can't get anywhere. It's kind of like, um, if you look at quicksand, that's it, they're done, right? No, you lay back on your back and you float in the water. You will not sink. Spirit says, as I've been talking about, let go of the, you know, the negative thinking and focus on, don't focus on the negative. I could list a million negative things right now for myself. A million. But I can also list a million amazing things and they're all around me. I chose to come to Sedona. It took me seven years to get my foot in the door. Seven years and I'm here and I am not leaving. I'm here. This is beautiful. This is a magical place. I have a magical tree in front of me with crystals. My dog can run around up on this rock. It's amazing. I'm able to climb up on these rocks. My dog can scale a rock wall better than I can. I'm good. I can list the fact that I don't have friends to hang out with, but I do. I have made friends here. Not a lot, but I have. And I don't want to leave them. I don't want to lose them. So I'm going to focus on the fact that I've got some really decent friends here. I've got a beautiful place to hike around in here. I'm here now. I might not be here in a week, but I'm here now. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So whatever your situation is, stay away from the drama. Let go of the drama. Say no to the drama. If something doesn't make you feel good, it's not good for you. Let it go. Next message. Clarification from my deck. Correct neutrality. For those who chose the trio, I chose the trio as well. Because I'm part of that trio. Correct neutrality. Friends at this time. I need friends at this time. You can look at this in many different ways. Somebody wants to be friends at this time. Maybe we need to start from scratch. Start out as friends. Friends at this time. Or maybe you're just saying, Spirit's saying, it's time for you to focus on some friends at this time. Stop focusing on your work. Stop focusing on, on, on what's going wrong. Focus on some friends at this time. Or maybe look for some good friends at this time. Say thankful that you're thankful. Say thanks for the friends that you've got at this time. Correct for neutrality on all levels. You don't have, you know, you can look at that negatively. Oh my God, I thought they loved me. They only want to be friends at this time. Oh, don't you want to be friends first? They feel very rejected. You need to reassure them. So here's the thing about that. Nobody can make you feel anything. That's how you're feeling, right? Own your own, own your own thinking. Now, if there's something that somebody's misunderstood by something that's been said, well, then they're going to need to find the guts to say, you know, because it, I'm not a mind reader. I mean, I am at times, but in all reality, they're feeling insecure. They're feeling rejected. They're feeling that they need reassurance. Could you reassure them? Sometimes Bea, like yesterday, we were hiking on, on a chimney loop and she, we wanted to go up the wall and we got up to the, we were on a pretty gnarly wall and the wind came and the wind was so freaking heavy. Hi. Um, I just saw, I can't see very well if in case you're wondering if you're talking, I'm sorry. I, 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 I clearly can't see anything. I just, the light hit right then and I just saw hi. Um, but Bea was up on the wall and she went too close to the edge and the wind came, a huge gust and she went flying and I, I, I yelled at her to, to get back with me and she thought she was in trouble and I said, no, you're not in trouble. I just want you to be safe, right? So I needed to, so we sat down. I was a little nervous too, I gotta tell you. I mean, that wind was gnarly heavy. When I, when I recorded the, the little snippet when I was up there, it wasn't when the wind was blowing like that. I would never have taken my hand off of what, what I was holding on to because it was so crazy windy. A wind like that can knock you right off the side of a cliff. And so we both sat down on the side of the mountain and she snuggled up to me. Now, normally when we're out here, it's impossible to take a picture with her. She's very independent like I am, but she needed to be reassured and I did too, right? And just because I am, I come across as very powerful, strong and independent, I need reassurance as well. I say to spirit, I need reassurance. This was reassurance. When I asked for them to give me a crystal, if I was supposed to stay in Sedona and this, I happened upon this, this is reassurance for me. Thank you, spirit. I was feeling rejected. I was feeling rejected. I was feeling like Sedona was not holding on to me, but I needed to hold on to Sedona. And I know Sedona loves me and I love Sedona. So this was reassurance for me. So someone in your life needs reassurance at this time. It's not hard for you to reassure somebody. Be kind, right? Correct for neutrality on all levels. <sighs> Guide me to the most important message for the most amount of people, for those who chose the trio. Don't let it go. Ask for total honesty. That's it. 
when somebody has something and you know that something's not quite right, you can feel it. There's something that you just can't put your finger on and they sidestep. Somebody's being a master manipulator right now. I don't like that. I can see through it and I don't, I haven't challenged it, but it's not going to move forward with me. So for you, whatever the situation is, if something doesn't feel right, trust your intuition. Don't let it go. Ask for total honesty. Someone's not being completely honest. That doesn't fly with me. You know, sometimes people lie for such a long time that they start to believe their own lies. And they start to think that the people around them are stupid and that they believe the lies too. Well, I can guarantee you that spirit will let us know who we can trust and who we can't. Okay, for the last, it was this cluster here, which you guys can't really see right now, unfortunately. But what I was saying is I saw a dragon. I choose the dragon because I'm an Aries dragon, so I choose it. I choose them all. All of these, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, every one of these messages um, has a message for us. But if you, the reason we choose specific ones, like to me, the crystal was the biggest one. So the message that comes with the crystal is the primary message for me because that was huge, right? Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the dragon, woo, it was almost, but not quite. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Bay is love in the sun. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Spirit. How many is there? No, that's too many. I can't do too many. Four fell down and I don't have the time. But one faced up. The dude abides. <laughs> the dude. Anybody seen that movie? The dude abides. So what's the deal with the dude? My Uncle Phil looks like the dude. <laughs> 20. Two is everything is happening exactly as it is meant to happen with divine blessings for everyone involved. Let go and have faith. And zero is clearly a new beginning. 20, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'll have to look it up. I can add it to this video later. But the dude abides. So you think about the dude. He's pretty chill, right? He's cruising around in his house coat. He's got a doobie. <laughs> He's pretty relaxed. So Spirit says, this is your lucky day. This is your lucky life. This is like chill. Chill out, dude. Right? The dude abides. Basically, he's waiting for you to come home to that place of chill. He's waiting for you to come to home to that place of relax. Right? The dude, as far as I'm con concerned, is spirit. Spirit's the dude. Spirit's like, relax. Because that's what they've been saying to me. Relax! It's, you know, it, it doesn't do you any good to lose your shit. Relax. Let, let the dude do the heavy lifting, spirit says. Let us handle what you can't, right? No matter what has happened, I like this. No matter what crazy mess you've gotten yourself into, or no matter what predicament that you find yourself in at this time, the dude is with you. Everything that you ever could possibly need, he's got your back. He's got your back, he's got your front, he's got you, period. That's what spirit's saying. The dude abides, he's here, she's here, it's here. Energy, whatever you wanna call it, you're covered. Your ass is covered. No, it isn't. You don't know what's about to happen. Okay, are you gonna go there again? No. Hold on, I gotta run around the tree and get my card. Now understand, this tree is like a giant octopus. It goes out in a million different directions. It's super cool. Correct neutrality. I'm hoping people are really careful with this tree because it's very brittle at this time. It's been here a long time. All right. For those who chose the dragon and the dude, thanks, dude. <laughs> thanks, dude, for having my back. Thanks, dude, for making this work out. Thanks, dude, for helping me find the right way. Thanks, dude, for showing me the, the, the signposts to follow. Thanks, dude, for, for relieving my, my concerns. Thanks, dude, for reminding me that you're here. Do you know how many angels stand around me right now? All around me. If, if you could see how many angels are around me, I'm telling you, I've met three angels in person. And I gotta tell you, just one of them was enough. I saw Archangel Michael, I've seen Archangel Metatron, and I gotta tell you, I wouldn't worry about anything. I gotta remember that. That's just two, right? There are myriads of angels around us, and for who, those who don't believe, I feel sorry for you. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Their ex is interfering, ask for intervention. Okay, intervention, okay, dude. I'm asking for you to remove the ex's influence or open up the eyes of the one who's being influenced by their ex. Their ex is interfering. Will you please intervene? 
let that go now. Don't focus on that. Don't sit there and dwell on that and stress and give that X any power because that X doesn't have any power. The dude's got the power, right? Chill. The X is interfering. Well, the X couldn't interfere if the person wasn't allowing them to, right? So I would say divine intervention needs to be there for both of them and, and, for, and not just for you, but for the person that is being allowed to be influenced because they clearly need help, right? Correct for neutrality on all levels. They are not aware in any way. Hmm. They are not aware in any way. They are not aware. I don't know. I'm going to do another one. I don't know why. I just am. Correct for neutrality. They're not aware. Maybe they're not awake. Maybe they don't get it. Maybe they don't understand. You know, you're, you're sitting there, uh, you know, wishing on a wing and a prayer. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> With an archangel wing and a prayer? I've got it covered. I lighten things up. Oh, no, lighten things up. Laugh. Change the subject. Lighten the energy. That, maybe you're not aware of how you, can, how you can affect the situation. Maybe you aren't aware of how you can slip out of that knot. Maybe you're not aware of how the situation can, can alter. It can alter by you altering your vibration. Because when you, vi all, you are vibing at a higher, higher frequency, you are connecting to the divine who is connecting you to so many other sources and, and that you would not run across or connect to when you're vibing at a low frequency. Now, somebody that I know that I'm connected to, Spirit told me, is, is at a low, very low vibrational frequency. I was at a very low vibrational frequency. That's why I kept going outside to try and raise my... I was just able to basically stay balanced. But Spirit's saying right now, there's somebody in my life that is vibrating at a very low frequency. So unfortunately, when you are vibrating at a very low frequency, you're going to draw towards you more of that. So I'm asking for divine intervention for whomever this is that needs to lighten up, that needs to laugh, that needs to see things in a, in a better way. Because if they can just do that, if they can get away and just do that, they'll lift their frequency enough to push that negative toxic energy away. So we can connect and help other people. If I'm vibing in a good frequency, I'm going to deliver a really positive reading. I'm, my energy will be felt by the people that need to understand and feel this message, right? Spirit will align the right people to see these messages that need to see these messages. Whoever I walk by, if my frequency is positive, someone's going to say, hey, how's it going? Hi. You don't know anybody who has a studio or, or a, a one-bedroom place to rent around here. Yeah, you know what? But if I went by with a miserable, nasty, neg negative energy, they're going to feel that energy. You can feel the energy of people whether they say anything or not. You can feel that energy, right? You walk into a room after somebody, there's a couple standing in that kitchen and they've just had a fight. Dang, you could cut the tension with a knife. You could feel that. You can also feel when somebody walks into the room that's super excited and the energy is just bouncing off the walls, right? Somebody said to me, your energy was, was, was heavy. Yeah, it was. So, you need to, so I need to stay away from you and you need to stay away from me. I knew that. It wasn't good. What happens when you get mad? I go for a walk. I was asked that a while ago. What do you do when you get mad? Go for a walk, clean my house, whatever I can do to get that energy out because I don't want it either, right? So that's it. That's our reading. take you guys off the tree and I'm going to show you where I'm at for the ones who came later. I had you hooked up here. It's got Bea's leash. This is the magic tree. Merlin's magic tree. Bea and I were walking on the trail down below and we came across this and I said, you want to go up the wall? We were, we were down there and she scaled up the wall like a little princess. She freaking loves it up here. And she can't get up to the top there through that crack. So I was going to do the reading up there. And I thought, no, I'm going to do it where it's convenient for her. It's just as beautiful here, right? And I've always said that this tree is just so freaking magical. Look at it. And then when I walked up to the tree, the crystal that I asked Spirit for yesterday was sitting right there. There's my sign. That's what I asked for. And they answered me. Don't tell me. When you ask Spirit for something, they don't answer. They hear everything. This is how I knew I was a spiritual teacher. This is how, I didn't know at the time I was a spiritual teacher, but this is how I knew the path that I was on. I left my Jehovah's Witness Christian upbringing because I would ask the universe a question. Like that, spirit, if I'm supposed to stay here as I'm walking along, you know how I always show you guys the crystals and the rocks, right? They're pretty little. And I, I did say yesterday when I was walking along, there's crystals right here. See these? Those are all crystals. And I said to spirit a few days ago, as well as yesterday, if I'm meant to stay here, I want to I wanna find a big crystal. 
what I meant, <laughs> what I meant was I wanted a, like a decent chunk. I was thinking something like that size, right? So yesterday when I asked the question, I walked a couple steps forward and there in front of me on the ground, I, I showed it to you guys in a video yesterday. It was all crystals. It was like this. I didn't dig it out from the mountain. It was there waiting for me. And then when I'd hung up the, I closed my um, phone, I walked two more steps and there was another one and it was in the shape of a heart. So I was, I took that as a positive sign. But when I asked that question and then I let it go, right? I asked the question yesterday and then I let it go. And yeah, we were going to go there and then we were going to go there. But then I looked at that tree and it's all about the trees for me. I'm in love with the trees. They, they mean so much to me. And as a Welsh person, I am connected to Merlin. Merlin is an archangel. And I said, this is Merlin's magic tree. Da, 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 da. Set up my phone. Boom. There it is. So sometimes you need to ask and then let, just let go of it. And trust that it's going to show up. <laughs> Pretty freaking amazing. <laughs> right? I don't know if I can see to answer any of these questions. Hold on. I'm going to turn this around. So you guys can see. Well, I can see if I can read what you're saying. Oh, there's a lot more people here than I realized. Hi. Hi, Don. Hi, Christine. Hi, Billy. Hi, Robert. Hi, Anenkia. Carrie, Ingrid, Tim, <laughs> Con. So this is where we be. Doesn't she look cool in Sedona? Yeah. She's a good girl. Can you say hi to everybody? Can you say hi? Can you say, I am the Anubis dog? I am the golden jackal? Yeah. And this is where my mommy and I belong? Yeah. So the, the video, when I was taking the video over here, I was standing here like, shuffling the cards and I looked up right like that and I saw the moon through the trees and I thought, that's pretty freaking cool. Anyway, you guys, I'm running out of battery as always. So we're going to go. I have a battery backup. So we're going to go across. <clears throat> I think we'll go down here. And we'll go up around chimney, up in that little area there. That is here. I wonder if I can zoom it in. Can I zoom it in? I should be able to. Yeah. Okay. See that flat area up there? It's the womb. The birthing cave in the womb is right up in there. And when I get there, I'll, I don't know if I'll come live, but I'll videotape it. So I'll let you guys go. Thanks for all your prayers and all of your good wishes. I've got so many people praying for us to find a place. I appreciate it. I believe in the power of prayer, absolutely. And Spirit says, count on your brothers and sisters, and I do. So thank you so much. I hope you guys are having a beautiful, fun day Sunday. We'll talk soon. Peace.